Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we are going to be trying out some more timeless action. Uh, we've played a lot of best of three. I'm going to try out some best of one, partially because I want to see what the meta differences are in the two formats, kind of get a feel for that. And then the other part is because the last video I recorded, like the matches are like 60 minutes long if you're playing some of the control matchups. And I want to get a couple games in, not just one match of best of three. So we are going to try out a Grixis Death Shadow list. Now, I want to preface by stating I think a Grixis version playing Death Rite Shaman over Death Shadow and Brainstorm over Stubborn Denial likely is a better deck. But I want to try out the Death Shadow with Stubborn Denial. Just basically becomes spell pier like or spike with upside if we control creature with power four or greater. So I want to give this a shot, see how it plays out. We're not like super into like every single thing you do hurts you. Um like playing the lands that take three damage or stuff like that. But naturally just through the course of taking damage, seeing how it plays out, we have fetch lands and shock lands that can achieve that, as well as thought seas. But bobbles in here, it plays really nice with Dragon Rage Chandler, some Regavans. A removal package of Fatal Push, Lightning Bolt, Unholy Heat, and then we have Bowmasters, one Crocs in here, and then three Treasure Crews. I want to try to Treasure Crews over Expressive Iteration. We're not like super into blue, so I think I would rather go that route. And then in terms of our like uh, fetchables, we have like the Blood Crypts, Steam Vents, and Watery Grave. Additionally, I think we're going to switch it, so I'm red-black, probably go just another red-black source here, and then in terms of like our quantity, probably trim down on the steam vents, just play it like that. I'm playing a basic island over a basic mountain, while our count's higher, I want to have access in case of a Blood Moon deck to be able to fetch my basic island. Um, we're Alaris Companion, so we're gonna give us a shot, we'll play some games. I think ultimately, like as we play these games, we're gonna want to see was Bowmaster, uh, was Deathrite Shaman a better choice for these types of matchups? And uh, kind of just where it's at. Like I think Izzet's probably better, Demir's better, Rakdos is better. I think going the three colors, you're stretching a bit. There's enough good cards in each that you're kind of making your mana base worse. But this is where we're going to try these things out. It's a learning opportunity to see, is it worth playing certain cards? Ultimately, I don't know how good this Death Shadow is going to be, but we try. Um, This hand here, we go first. I will keep. So I actually I think it's fine. We'll just lead with this. If they have a removal spell, they have it. I was thinking of potentially holding it up. Like now we're a little worse for wear there, but. Let's see what they're working with. So it's a Karn One Ring Necro Potence deck. So we can get rid of the One Ring. We can get rid of the Necro Potence. They could have Shieldred. Honestly, like Karn minuses gets them something. The One Ring gets them multiple cards, so it's probably just the One Ring we get rid of. Just have four spike on the Necropotence. So this hand's a little awkward. Okay, well, not a great hand. Not getting fetches makes obviously treasure crews worse. Play out monkey here. Say go. No point of dashing. If we knew like last turn when they didn't necessarily have the extra spell, could have tried it out. Dark Ritual here. 
kind of annoying. Like, odd. I guess they're playing around spell pierce here. We'll see what they get. They do get a copy of the One Ring. That is annoying. Mind you, if they... They have a couple choices here. They go with Cruise. Trying Fatal Push there sucks. Land off the top. Just gonna get Karn off the battlefield here. Say go. Um, gonna do this just to tax them on the mana. Like these aren't great here. They're probably gonna be on Shieldred, so keeping up the treasure can be good. This really is a hand. And this is where I think we're like, is it where you have more proactive counter spells is reasonable? Hit here. Give me some good. How about a fatal push? So here. In case we get the shadow, we do want to be lower on life, so we'll just shock in here. Play Luris. The hand. They go. They are at 10. They have Shieldred. We can deal with that. Now, notably, the ring's protection means that Regavan, because this has to deal combat damage. Rox is not bad. At least it gives us something we can escape the following turn. That's the turn. Maybe it was right to Luris and play it, but I'm concerned they're going to play something like Ritual Assist or Meat Hook Massacre. comes down here. They are at nine, so. Fine. Kill Shieldred here. We did get Unholy Heat. I don't think I can afford to go shields down just yet. Just do this, protect our life total a bit.
Now, I can't imagine they're playing too many copies of Shieldred here. I want to hit another lion so then I have stubborn denial with this, but until we do that, let's just play out Dragon Rage Chandler. Another Bowmaster comes down here. Fatal push. We're down to four. The thing is, like, this doesn't play well with Dragon Rage either. So they're trying to find another copy of the One Ring. With the Hive, we might be forced. in the turn here. Get the other copy there. I think at this point we go face because I have three damage with Broxa and if I draw like lightning bolt it's good. I'm just drawing like three shoulders. We've been stuck on lions and so, so far, I haven't liked this. This has been largely a dead card. So these are the things we want to kind of check out as we play these games. Like, largely, I don't care about my record at the end of this. It's to see, is this a viable strategy? Proxa here. The problem is here, they gain the life. Like they can respond to the trigger by gaining the life. Oh, they didn't go to full control, so they just lost. So they need to go to full control with the trigger on the stack. They should have responded. So they played that incorrectly, but uh, we'll take it. So, so far, we got the win, but I don't love what we're doing here. At least with these two. So, game one in the bag. We might want another copy of Treasure Cruise. Maybe instead of the, the extra copy of Push. But it might be contentious with all the cards. Let's give this another one. We might just be doing like confirmation bias based on that one game. But we test it. For like the first two, three weeks of this format, it, a lot of the games I'm just going to be throwing stuff at the wall, seeing what works, what doesn't. If I'm really concerned about like ranking up, I would probably play like 
a Toon Salt Eye version, the Is It deck, or like Mono Red Blood Moon. Okay, opponent goes first. This hand is pretty solid. This is a lot of flexibility. Now, notably, we're pretty heavy on red. So we'll see what they lead off with here. I'm probably going to lead Dragon Rage Chandler. And we're going to lead on the Steam Vents. So they take Treasure Cruise. I could just wait, but I think we do this. If they have Bowmaster, they have Bowmaster. So they could be on a Revolt plan, so... Hmm. I keep up the fetch. The fetch will thin out my deck more. Puts a land to the graveyard. I'm gonna hold off. We'll see what they have here, and then I could potentially dash in Ragavan. They're gonna brainstorm here. Protect what they had. If we had Bowmaster here, it would have been nice. But what I want to try to do is hit them, and then depending what they put on top, I can Ragavan dash. So they might consider that as well in the terms of how they sequence. So they have double Bowmaster here. We'll see if they... Okay, so they wanted the card that they kept on top. So that's land. It's oh, kind of annoying here. Welcome to the feast. Stubborn denial is pretty solid. I'm doing this. Wow. They gave it to me, eh? I think we just take this. 
It's not poison. Trust me. Because they'll make this into that, and then I can eventually get unholy heat going. They most likely still have the Bowmaster in hand. Ah, they got the Unholy Heat. So we needed them not to have that. I do a Bolt, so that could help me. Oh dear. As we fight over these Okos. Do this. Let's broaden your existence. They flash him, Bowmaster. Ooh, I feel so alive. I think it's. Regavan hold up the three, Bowmaster comes down. Maybe that was wrong, because now I can't hold up the Lightning Bolt. Okay, well, they didn't keep Bowmaster. I can start gaining some life. We get Death Shadow, it's also good. Very odd that they didn't keep Bowmaster there, and like the way they're... Fetching. Grixis Oko. Man, even these best of one games take forever. 23 minutes into the video and we're... Hmm... Figure they take both there. Could be Uro, which would be annoying. No blocks. Very strange game that's happening. We'll take it, but... The decisions of some of these moves, like if you're dead to the board, why do you attack in there? We will take it nonetheless. It'd be nice to actually draw Death Shadow. We've drawn the Force Spike more than we've drawn Death Shadows. Like every time we've had it, it's felt kind of awkward. All right, we go first.
thought sees you. Oh. Some uh, Magic the Gathering cards there. So I'm going to get aggressive with my life total here. Only need one blue source, which we have in the watery grove. Um, well, I can't actually do that yet, so. I'll keep the bowmaster there. Uh, we're going to get rid of natural order here. Come on, trade. Go Death Shadow here. It is a 4-4. Four, four. They're trying to go into a big thing here. I think we just get proactive here. Stubborn Denial is fantastic. They can trade their board here. But we can actually use Stubborn Denial here. Get whatever they kind of throw our way. Kill. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's two natural orders. So they did draw the, the natural order in the top 12. So they would have found like a Traxa, and then we just couldn't win against a Traxa, but it was a nice one. All right, that game felt good. The natural order deck's kind of cool, but you do run the risk a bit where because it's a sacrifice to cast, even like memory lapse gets you pretty hard. Counterspell. And while like Delighted Halfling can help accelerate you, it doesn't make your uh, actual sorceries uncountable. Um, we go first, Luris Mirror. I think we keep... So the question is, like, I still think we shot, like, fetch... Blood Grip, DRC, Bobble. We do want to land on top. See what they have. Really like this art. This could be Fatal Push. Literally the exact same turn. Let's 
So... I think what we're gonna do here... Gonna get the watery grave. Gonna cast the second DRC here. Ooh, Bowmaster's good. Bowmaster's very good. But I kind of want to get these outside of Bowmaster. So I'm gonna put this in the graveyard. It's a little iffy. They did have double lightning bolt. They could bolt one. Having like the double Ragavan here is kind of shitty. So they did shock watery grave. Can't quite treasure cruise yet. Gonna get my swamp here. I'm gonna offer them a trade. They can't really interact at this point, so... I think this is how I have to go. Could force spike this. I think we do. No, no, no. I shouldn't have kept that on top. I forgot Ragavan's gonna attack in. Because this gives him the second answer. That was dumb. Guess that does give me an out then. Bolt off the top. Okay, hey, this fatal push. So that gets rid of there's this comes back to hand okay so they hit their death shadow get my croxa not great not great Ooh, I needed that. So, a little awkward there. If we've been the, we should have been the bolt because then it ended up hurting us more than anything. So, a little bit of a misplay there. A 
We got the bolt there. In the yard. Then I can mill over the Croxa as well. In the dark, I'm just going to throw this out because I have the treasure cruises. Even if they kind of fuel my graveyard, it's fine. Get that out of the way for free feels good. I have push if needed. I also have Stubborn Denial. Okay. I have an end step stop. The U, no, servers. Come on, this game's actually good. Nothing is as powerful as the MTG Arena server. I'm gonna see what they come out with here. Let them make up their mind first. Keep Bowmaster alive. So it's probably Shredder. Get my swamp here. Kalim. It's an interesting inclusion. See monkey. Doing this now. Yikes. A lot of bad cards. Keep Bowmaster around. I'm gonna do this now just to thin out my deck. ERC is not terrible. We get EI.
No dash. I'm doing this, it fuels my graveyard. I do like the bolt on top. Put Luris to hand. The really nice thing is like Luris could just rebuy Bobble for free. We also have Ragavan. Well, chaining expressive into expressive is a really nice way around Bowmaster. They're kind of priced into finding two removal spells here, though. Which they very well could. Come on, Treasure Cruise. Bolt this so that way my DRC can attack in. You can actually put Shadow in the yard. And then just shock in here. So now they're, they're pretty limited. Like they have to answer an active Luris, an active Death Shadow, a DRC, a Bowmaster. So we kind of lock them out that way there. All right. So we've only lost to another Shadow. Taking down a variety of decks. Reasonable, especially for best of one. We saw the other opponent on Memory Lapse. I think Memory Lapse, all things considered, might be the better route to go. Just in terms of like tempo elements. The Force Spike didn't feel fantastic in the games. It does lower our curve a bit. Other than that, I, I think I may want just more, tre like the full set of Treasure Crews or Expressive Iteration in the slot here. All could be reasonable choices. I don't think... Even like Spell Pierce might end up being better than this, just in the abstract. But let me know what you think. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching.